on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Okay, did you bring your backpack? Y yes, uh, well, but I'm curious to why? Oh, no worries. And Ryoki just jumps into it. He's a little confused, like, okay. Great, now pick it up. As soon as he does, he's like, what? That's, that's not right. He goes, are you alright? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, for some reason, it's incredibly heavy. Like, do you need help? No, no. I mean, it shouldn't be this as then Yoki jumps out of it and he's like, falls over. I'm very confused. Like, that was you? Mm-hmm. How? Oh, yes, I can control my weight. Uh, oh. Ingo's just thinking that, man, do you know how many people wish they could do that? Well, so, wait, what was the point in this? Oh, uh, you see, since I can control how much I weigh, it pretty much guarantees that I'll be able to help you train by working out and since I am technically like a living weight in this way. Plus with my ability to use energy beams, I can actually, you know, help you when it comes to dodging and, you know. Really? Oh yes, I mean, I will dull it down, so if anything, you will feel it, but it won't be, you know, incredibly painful. Oh. Uh, okay. So, hmm, that's very interesting. Uh, are you alright? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. It's just, I did not know you could do that. Hmm. Wait, then why did you... Oh, yeah, uh, the Bakugo and his friend situation. I didn't want to risk you getting hurt or anything. I very much care about you, and you are a wonderful person. I want you to know that. He's like blushing because that she's acting so sweetly and everything. He's... <sighs> Well, thank you for the praise, but I'm not that great. <sighs> You're my hero. So why would you see yourself as such? Well, according to you, you could have just... <sighs> yeah, I could have protected myself. Yeah, I get that, but... You, you knew nothing of that. You know I could protect myself at all. <laughs> but you still decided to help me and technically save me. And not just run away like some people who are cowards. And that makes you special. Izuku blushing again. He's... Thank you. Uh, that that really means a lot. You've earned it. So, are you ready to train? Yes. Well then, let's get started. As this is pretty much Izuku's childhood. Him being able to not only, you know, build up more muscle thanks to Ryoki's gravity manipulation, also, 
his reaction speed, his his perception, to a point where yeah, he can't dodge a full on laser, but thanks to Ryoki's constant encouragement mixed with Inko's, and yeah, Bakugo having pretty much had the technical fear of God placed into him by Miski and Ziku not being afraid to actually fight back and honestly God don't win, possibly. It's pretty good for Ziku right about now. He's not scared or anything, at least not as much as he would be. He is still a bit of a hero nerd, so that's something that doesn't change. Only thing is, he actually finds ways to utilize his, hmm, you could say, Ryoki's mannerisms, though she is very powerful, she's, <laughs> is very childish, despite how old she actually is, she has more like a child than even Izuku, much to Inko's Oh, that's adorable. It's like, oh, not again. It's gotten to the point where, yeah, they actually do have a, a bit of property at, over so long. To the point where they do have it, so it's not like a lean-to, but there's also a small little patch of land for, what else? Carrots. And we're okay, she enjo enjoys the time her and Izuku spend together. But she knows one thing that might scare him to near death. She is a spaceship and a damn powerful one at that. It's like, uh. And if he learns about the real me, he might not even like me anymore. He could be terrified and everything. But then again, since he is a kid, he has to really see it as, oh, okay, sure. You're in space, I get that. And yada yada. Only thing is that really messes with it. The whole fact that, yeah, I am a, honestly, God, a war, war machine. <laughs> it goes pretty much passive personality. She trusts Ryoki with her son. The fact that they are just living together now is pretty much like, oh, man. You were my son's best friend. What were we thinking? Not inviting you home. Yes, you're trying to be an animal. Yes, you claim to be from space. But it's only until Izuku's around 12. He's bolted up enough to the point where, yeah, no one wants to really bully him ever. His reaction speed is faster than Bakugo's, considering the whole yeah, he's he's not going to back down and he can actually handle himself a lot better now. All that mixed in is pretty much saying, look, I don't want to mess with you. I don't want you messing with me. We can be friends-ish. We're okay just like, no, no, you, no, you cannot. No. That's stupid. Uh, okay. Acquaintances. Right now. Yes, you're still young. But I was like, when are you, when are you turning to my mom? Oh, I am technically older than you. And this is the whole back and forth where he does try to talk to Bakugo more. But then it's, oh no, what, something, something doesn't feel right, uh, 
care to elaborate? I think it's my uh, my sister. Wait, you have a sister? Yeah, she's a space pirate. Hey. Huh? Yeah. Are you just telling us this now? Well, it wasn't important in, until now. But something doesn't feel right. It feels like she's in trouble. Tr trouble? What, what, what kind of trouble are, are we talking about here? Someone's hurting her. But I don't know who. How can you tell? We share a connection. Yeah. But the very least, and I, I need to go. I need to help her, but... I can't do it alone. Uh, I'll help you the best I can. No, no, I, I, I don't want you getting hurt. It goes... No. You are a member of this family. So, yes, we are going to help you. You serious? Of course. I mean, you are the best thing to ever have to my son ever since his, you know. Thank you. But we're going to have to get you guys prepared for what could possibly happen. Excuse me. Have any of you been in outer space before? Huh? I'm just asking. Has it, have any of you been in outer space? No. It goes like, oh wait, is this this whole, is this a whole imagination thing with her being from space? Like, oh. Yeah. In that case, this is going to be even more difficult. Explain. As then she turns into her full spaceship form, Inko realizing that that was not bull crappery of the highest degree of nonsensical location, and say, okay, hop in. No. No. Oh my god. What? What? Are you telling me this bullshit is real? <laughs> Her realizing she just cursed. Like, oh, I am sorry for my language. You thought I was kidding? Izuku was thinking, he's like, I didn't know you were a spaceship, too. Oh, yeah, that's one of my abilities as well. But, come on. Hell, we can even train while we're here. Uh, hmm. Then again, I don't know how my sister's going to react to seeing you, I guess. Hmm. Uh, she's not mean, is she? <sighs> no! No! She's an outstanding citizen. Okay, yeah, she's a little mean. But still, it, it, it's, it's not completely her fault. Uh, but those decisions were hers to make. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's just go before uh, logic starts to seep in. Okay. And that's pretty much how it goes. When they arrive, they see, like, mm, wow, you are a lot more spacious than you look. Thank you. And uh, so, how can I read you some training around here? Don't forget you're in me. This, this, this whole ship is me. I can control the space however I see fit. Really? Uh-huh. Uh, that's amazing. But 
won't it hurt if you you get hurt yes yes te technically it, it would but if anything I'm a lot tougher than I look great 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 that's that's nice thank you for, for the vote of confidence so what's this about being able to train while we're here oh I'm glad you said something you see like I said I can control this space however I want like you see that door right there was that there before no it wasn't open it um just trust me there's a reason why we've been going to that beach remember okay as soon as he opens the door he sees a full gem Inko sees the sheer magnitude is what's going on here please, please tell me this is Izuku walking right into it Mom, this is all real. Him actually starting to lift some of the ways that... How? Well, I also have sp uh, spatial manipulation and time and whatnot. Huh? I can create pocket dimensions. What's that? Think of it as its own separate thing. Like, say, this is a room that I made for working out, you know, exercising, training, and all that. And it's completely cut off from the rest of the outside world. I can manipulate it however I want to fit my needs wow I know pretty cool huh y y yeah uh, but so I can train in here but, but how long is it gonna take there's a reason I ha we had to go to your school first it's gonna take a while. Uh, why? Because though yes, I can track down my sister. It's gonna. It takes more uh, focus for me to actually pinpoint her location, which kind of sucks. Cause area yeah, she can find me quick. Cause hell, somehow her connection to me is a lot stronger than, than mine to her. It, I. I don't know why mom made us like that, but maybe I just need more practice. As yes, when did you arrive to a bar this time? It is. Oh. What? I think I know what, what happened here. As yes, this place is trashed to a point where booze. Just litters the whole air. Everyone beaten up to high hell. Them seeing Ryoko's little spaceship, they think, oh my gosh, she's back. Someone save us. Wait, wait, wait. Izuku and go. Uh, wait, you're not Ryoko. Who's that? She's the woman who destroyed this place. Who else? Wait, why do you have her ship? Oh, uh, if anything, it found us, and you know, it was this whole weird thing, and what we're not, uh... huh? Okay, either way, so since you're here, maybe you can help, maybe even. Pay for the damages she's caused. He goes. I don't have any money with me. Izuku is pretty much. Uh. Uh. Ryoki? 
Is there any kind of ways? Hold on. Is in yes. There is a lot of money that's being carted out from Ryoki. Oh yeah, that'll be that'll do just fine. Is your Rinko looking like how? Why did wait did you create this? No, no. Like I said before, my sister was well, seemingly still is a space pirate. And uh, yeah, she's done some pretty not so nice things. Oh. Oh, okay, so this money is... Shh. They don't know that. Now, come on, before they try to get any funny ideas. And yes, they are going from bar to bar, hang out, to fucking hang out, trying to find out where Ryoko is. Only to just barely miss her. This takes from a few days to damn near, you could say, a month. As then they just realize, okay, why don't we just look, look for bars that aren't be, or within the, you know. Oh, wait, what are you saying? Yeah, forget just trying to catch up to her while we cut her off at the next pub oh uh, actually yeah yeah that would that work just fine I mean let's see if, ah here as soon as they get there they see Ryoki and they like, oh my god Ryo, Ryoko's here uh, uh, get, get the strongest booze we have and then maybe she'll leave Calm down. As again, Izuku and Inko. Wait, you're not. Unless you. No, my name is Inko, not Ryoko. So she hasn't been here? No. Why? <sighs> okay, good. This is most likely where she's going to strike next. What? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, we want to stop her from her little... Mm, you know, binge. So you're here to save us? Yeah, yeah. Save you, yeah. Hopefully. Wait. Uh, Ryoki, who's stronger, you or your sister? Oh, uh, if, if I went all out, I, I could say, uh, I'm gently stronger? Uh, hmm. So if you go all out. Yeah, but there's an issue. When she's drunk, she's much more unpredictable to the point where if me and her went to a full on brawl I could drink if I want to but I don't so uh, I've never been drunk before and her style when drunk is even more deadly we tend to have the same abilities I mean she can walk through walls Someone disappear and, you know, fly? Why oh, does that sound familiar? No reason. Either way, yeah. That's pretty much how my sister is. Oh. So, wait. You said something about getting your strongest booze, so. I was like, yep. That may be the only way to stop her if she's completely plastered. But her tolerance is ugh, terrifying. Yeah, she can put them away. That's that's for sure. I'm just very very super a duper sorry for all the trouble my sister's caused. 
thank thank you so much, but if anything, our only real worry is if she comes here Oh don't worry. I can handle my sister to an extent. <sighs> But it is going to be a pain to deal with her. Is she... Hmm. As then, yes, they realize they hear something as a ship crashes in the middle of the bar. It's just like, what are the chances that that's her? It blowing up and Ryoko stepping out. Her sloshed is all hell. And demanding all the booze she can drink. Uh, okay. Uh, hey. Here, have some of this. Izuku's Trust me. And goes, uh, here, have a drink. About damn time. Her, her passing out. What the hell? What was that? What'd you? As Ingo has like a, oh yeah. A little bit of a night-night juice. What? Uh, you know that chemical that your brain makes when you're sleeping and whatnot, it helps you when... Yeah. I had a ball of it. Uh, why? Yeah, your father used to have trouble sleeping and uh, he left this one at home last time he was there. So... Yeah. Oh. Okay. That's that's interesting. I I, I can also got to say I I did not know that. So what do we do now? Get her out of here, please. Thank you for saving us, but still we can't risk that monster game back up. Well, she'll drink us out of business. If you were that worried about her doing that, why would you go and give her the strongest alcohol? I was hoping she'd take it as an offering and leave, but ugh, we are so happy that you showed up. Thank you. As now they head straight towards Earth. Ryoko throwing up, moaning, and other pain as soon as they get to earth uh, mom why is she it's called a hangover don't don't worry and I doubt oh after all that binger she had she uh, didn't have a sip of water so if anything she's gonna wake up very dehydrated um is there a creek or somewhere we can just dump her? Uh, she's my sister. Let me find an unpopulated area. And as soon as Ryoko wakes up, as soon as she's sober after, let's just say, three hours, she does see the side effects of the hangover, but she's like, where the hell am I? <laughs> Wait. Oh yeah, now I remember. As Wait, this is a Ryan prison? Huh. Oh yeah, right, I broke out. Then Then where the hell am I? As then she says, "Is Ryoki her?" Hey, sis. Hey, Ryoko. 
Wait, why are you here? This is where I ended up. Why am I here? This is where we decided to take you. Okay. Good. Good. Okay, that's that's nice. Thank you so much. So Wait, yes right! Are you alright? Her tackling real gaze like please tell me you're alright. Are you hurt? Are you uh hungry? Thirsty? She's like, no, I'm fine. Just let me go. Uh, right. So, explain. Why? What's with you? Huh? Why were you... I thought you were arrested. Oh. Yeah, I was. Well, you're going to explain why you went on... Well, um... Uh... I feel like you were, a while ago, I just thought you were scared, terrified, and, and whatnot, wanting to fight back, but feeling unable to, it's like, oh, wait, so what you're saying is, yeah, I broke out of prison, oh, and, in an accidental collision, <laughs> I ended up, you know, just drowning in a lot of booze. This happened. I was looking for a ship to hopefully come find you. The only thing is, you know, when the alcohol gets to me, as I had to try them all. So you broke out to try to rescue me, only to get sidetracked. By booze. E I mean, it, it, it sounds bad when you say it like that, but ultimately, yes. What? Why? Did you, I was so worried about you. I actually got my friends to come help me. Friends? What friends? You you have friends? Uh, Oh, oh dear, I, I am so sorry. I, <clears throat> Hi, my name is Drake with the Space... I mean, uh... We got Oki's sister. They already know that you're a space pirate. Well, you were. But technically still are. You just broke out of prison! Oh, in that case... Yeah, well, my eyes are not worried for. Yeah... All right, I'm going to sleep. Maybe when dinner's ready. I am very sorry for my sister. She has an interesting personality. Yeah, yeah, interesting. That that's that's the best way you can put it. Definitely. Either way, uh, we uh, we saved her technically, but what are we gonna do with her now? I mean, she's also gonna just you know an escaped convict. Uh, does anyone know about this planet? Does anyone know that this planet is, uh, oh, oh, it means anyone gonna show up here or try to do something? I doubt it, but if anything, my sister's presence here may make it even a little bit more problematic. She's loud, brutish, rude, as well as a drunk, and she is... Uh, for what I remember, terrible at uh, cleaning and housework and anything. If anything, she would be much life material. Take that back, you jerk! <laughs> what the hell? Did she really just wake up just to pick a fight? And to argue with me? Uh, either way, yeah, she's not the best. Oh. Okay, that's 
that's okay. It's just we're gonna have to adjust to everything. We can do that, right? Yeah, huh? Right? Inko, she's that's an amount of feet. So I guess she'll be partaking of the carrots as well. <laughs> well, she's not like me. Though we are similar. Oh, actually, yeah, that's right. She's not a cat-rabbit hybrid like you are. Wait, but can she turn to a spaceship? No. Uh... Wow, are you guys sure you're related? Yep. It's this whole thing and whatnot, but still, yeah, she's she's my sister. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. This it wasn't supposed to be like this at all. I uh, can you ever forgive me for my sister's, you know, being herself. <laughs> you yeah, okay, you don't have to worry about it. No one's perfect, believe me. The thing is, what is she gonna be like with this whole new, you know, set of surroundings? How long was she in actual prison for? Hmm, I forget, but it has been a long time. I mean, I just recently woke up where you guys found me, to be honest. Huh? Oh yeah, I used to be an egg until I hatched. Oh my goodness. When I crashed here, oh man, it was loud. It was very destructive. So that crater I saw was you? You're doing? Yep. You go, what, what crater? Um. Who says something about a crater? Now, times pass. Izuku is now 14. Everyone's seen how strong he is. Everyone knows how he ain't with that bullshittery. At all, so about go bullying him? No, that's not gonna happen. People laughing at him? That ain't gonna happen neither. If anything, the is tree Zuku like hell. He's just a normal person. If anything, if he can be a hero, yeah, he can be a hero. If he wants to, he can. His only real. Op school is the hero exam. All you have to do is be careful and not get too much hurt. He can't take Ryoki with him because, though, yes, she is somewhat like a best friend and companion. It's kind of, it's kind of like cheating in Izuku's eyes. With her energy beams, her being able to be used as a projectile, her massive spaceship form. No. No, just no. It, it, it's too risky. But he does pretty well, though he doesn't have the overall strength to destroy the Zero Pointer or anything. Him being able to sneak past them or manipulate the way through the battlefield is highly impressive. He deactivates them by pushing an all button and no one really questions how skilled he is. Hell, Ida even, even surprised at his speed to the point where he's like, wow, he might have a minor speed quirk. Which, all in all, is pretty much him doing a hell of a lot of training in some rough fur conditions. But, at the end of the day, he gets 
third place, let's say. He, he still has some limitations, but luckily he is a, a lot more capable. When he gets his results, he's all too happy, but then he's... What was that? Him turning around and seeing Ryoko buck-ass naked running in to hug him.